So I will start with sheet number. This will be everything I'm doing here is going to be sheet 11. Uh, no, sheet 12, detail. Sheet 12. The first thing you need to do, guys, on sheet 12 is um, one line diagram or power riser. Power riser. And power riser is going to look like we talked about this one the other day. Here's my meter. And, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And we said they come in six. So, and then you're going to over condition device and you're going to put your devices here. That's your power riser. And it's going to look something. You're going to box them in. And you're going to name them. This is my main panel and whatever you call it. This is T-1, T-2, and etc. And this is M1, M2. And you guys have to size the conductor here. Let me see the size of the conductor. Size the conductor and size the conductor. Okay, you guys remember how we did that one? The riser. One will be, because they come in six, that will be spare. And nothing coming out of it, as a matter of fact. Nothing coming out of this one. That will be spare. Okay? And each one of them, this is how what you guys going to be drawing. Each one of them is going to have a circuit breaker. Circuit breaker. Any question about the power riser? Any question about the power riser? Okay, let's move to the low voltage. And you guys want to put information, I can't emphasize, you're going to put information about this cable, information about here, information about the circuit breaker, information about uh, the system here. All this is, you're going to fill information about all these systems. And I drew the voltage and the hertz and the frequency and all the stuff. That's called your power riser. Any comment about power riser? If you have a building without power riser, basically you have, no, you have no idea how the system is put together. We're bringing power to a meter center, splitting the power, metering the power, and going to every apartment. That's basically what we're doing. Cool? Any comments, any questions? Any comments, any questions about this? Okay, let's go do the next one. Is going to be security system. Next one is going to be my security system. Your security system, guys, is going to look something security. Riser. It's going to be something like security riser. And you're going to have uh, the first thing about the security riser is going to be security panel. And what we're going to have for security panel, we're going to, I would like you guys to do how many circuits you have. So here's something like this. This is um, uh, door contact. This is window contact. And this is circuit one. Circuit two is going to be door. Zone yep, door contact. Window contact. This is zone number one. Zone number two. If you put zone number three, what do you do? You add another zone, zone number three, right? If zone number two does not have a window contact, what do you do with it? You just get rid of the window contact. And um, I would like you guys to add also motion detector. I don't know where the motion detector is going to be. Let's just say the motion. We're going to make it on another. Either you make it on another zone or you're going to add motion detector here in one zone, depending which zone you guys wired it. Are you guys with me? When you put the zone, which zone? Then... You need to provide 120 volt, 15 amp circuit to it. That will be your power to this circuit. And you need to provide a keypad from this side. Uh, this side, uh, it's going to be my keypad. So that's how your power is going to be looking, how your system is going to look like. Any questions, any comments? We only have to Uh, four of them? No. What I would like you guys to do, if you have four door windows, put, just put four underneath them. If you have on this circuit, if you have how many? Say two, you put two here. If you have one, you put one here. So you guys do the number. Say three here. Say one here. 
Can you guys put just the number between brackets right underneath him? Why do you go in order? So, so like, how your spaghetti's going or whatever. Now, if you had... Yeah, you're going to be zone if one. You, if you had one door contact and then two window contacts, you'd have door contact, window yes. contact... Yes, no, not in order. Three. Not in order. Yeah, oh, you're not right. In order? No, not, not in order. Meaning, group all your do door contacts here on the, on the zone and your window contacts here, regardless of where they are on the circuit. Because remember how you loop it, you loop them. This is just to tell me if I'm looking here, tell me how many door contacts and how many window contacts and how many motion detector and in which zone. I don't care where physically they're located because if I go to the plan, I can identify them physically. Very good point. Okay, the last thing I would like you guys to do to specify, we need to specify the wires for all these. Um, for wires. So it says uh, wire with two, number 18. So you're going to have, a, what, I, what I usually do, guys, is I personally, for the, all these zones, these zones and this one, basically 18 number, 18 for twisted pair cable. That's it. So all the wiring method that we use is 18 for. The gauge 18, four conductors, twisted pair cable. TP is twisted pair cable. Typically, that's what we do with these systems. And I don't do the 15 amp. Everybody knows why we don't do the 15 amp, right? Because that's, so you're going to have, um, so then then here, which circuit are you going to be feeding here? So you're going to identify how are you going to, your security system is going to be plugged into an outlet, typically in that area. So that's going to be coming 120, uh, 120 volt, 15 amp outlet in that area. Is uh, 18 for a pair cable, uh, do we need to note that we need the phone lines and stuff like that? Too? Thank you. Yeah, we need to interface, like if we have another interface that you can do is this one here is phone line. Phone line. With phone line, you know what the phone line is, uh, 22 four. Number 22 four, um, uh, twisted pair, don't they use? Yep. Twisted pair cable. Cable, twisted pair cable. Okay, phone line, yeah, because then you can dial out. Cool? Any question guys about this? That will be your security riser. Let me know when I switch, when I can switch to the other riser. I'm going to go to the fire alarm. So this is my security when you guys are done with that one. That's my security. Next phone data, TV. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go next to um, following the, the data that I have because I have phone and data. I decided to put phone and data in one. Now, if you wanna put TV and data on one, that's fine. So I'm gonna call this is phone, phone slash data riser. Here's your start point for phone data riser, guys. You're gonna come from here. Um, now remember, coming to the whole building, you're going to come up with uh, a line, and then from here, you're going to come with another line to every apartment, and from every apartment, we're going to, there's so many ways of doing it, I get to do it one way or another, so here's my hub, and here's, I'm going to go to phone jacks here, this will be my phone jack. And how many of them you have? Say I have three of them. This would be in my, this is typical for, um, um, so we're going to call this as phone, 
phone, what, how did it say, it's called this one. This will be the apartment number one. This will be my data hub. <coughs> data, this is my phone. And from here, I'm gonna go down to, this will be my data jet. Do you guys see that? This is typical apartment. You're coming, and this one would be my splitter. We have to use a couple of names here, so to. Um, so we're gonna call this one main. Just for the left main splitter. Huh? I'm sorry. This, this one is going to be in the main for coming for the whole apartment building. So let me see what uh, we're bringing. And then, can you guys see it? this will be repeated four times? I'm just going to show here. One, two, three. Everybody can, let me just go over this one in a second here, guys. So what you're doing, what you're doing is you're bringing... <clears throat> Let's say we are bringing here, <clears throat> what did they brought here? To the building. Since this is data and phone, we're gonna bring, I brought Cat 5e here. Um, let's bring 22, how many apartments? Four, eight, um, number 22 slash eight, 22 eight, um, Twisted bare cable coming to the building. Then going to every apartment, there will be a 22 number, 124. Again, twisted bare cable. And going to every phone, there will be also number what? 124. Now coming from here, this was also 22, 124. This one will be cat. Five, cat five going into the data. One more time. I brought eight conductors in a 22 into, then I'm going to call this one, guys, uh, for the lack of a better term, I'm going to call it main splitter. Splitter. This is apartment. Um, apartment number one splitter. So I split the signal into apartment number one. And this is also apartment number one um, data hub. Hub where you can put the router, wireless or wired. Again, there's so many ways of doing it, guys. You could have done this one, Jeff, through your coaxial co cable, the same thing. So I can't emphasize, I'm coming from the top with um, 22 eight. So it'll give me, give me two conductors for every apartment, right? Uh, four conductors for every apartment, four times, or two conductors for every apartment. Maybe I should get, ask for a table of, I want four. Four times four is what? 16. Let's do 16. I don't know if they can make them. They can make it, but I don't know. So 2216. So coming to the apartment, let's do 2216. Why 2216? I want every apartment to have four four conductors, guys. Now, Aaron, my friend, if you have four conductors, they'll give you two lines for every apartment. Two lines for every apartment. A line, a phone line is what? Two two conductors. So they'll give you so then you take four for every apartment. So they will give you every apartment can have two lines, separate line. Now I hate to say that because now we're going digital where you can have on one, two lines, how many phones? Unlimited phones. But we're doing it the traditional way where two, a line is two conductors. Can I have a thumbs up, Chad? We quickly understand to get a phone line, traditional phone line, you need two conductors. So that's why I put 16 here. I need a cable that coming to the building with 16 to bring me four, two lines for every apartment. So what you need to get to do is copy this how many times? Four times. Okay. So the means everybody knows what a main splitter is. Just bringing these eight lines and split them through the building. Where do you guys think the main splitter is going to be located? 
in the utility room, where do you think the uh, apartment number one letter is going to be located? Remember how we said the phone little box right next to uh, the panel? And where do you think the hub is going to be located? Right next to the phone line. So Cat5, can you guys tell me how many jacks though? By Cat5, how many of them? Five, just the number right underneath it. So for example, um, Jenny, phone jack, phone jack, three means you actually have a home run. How many of these? Three. You don't have to show three. Can I have a thumbs up, Chad? We fully understand how this is going. Cool. Let's go to the phone, to the TV. TV. Ah, yeah, there's one little thing, guys, I forgot here. Sometimes you need power. What do you need for this? You need 120 volt. 15 amp, right? Power this hub. Don't you need to power it? And sometimes the splitter will be also power. Sometimes. But I, uh, the hub, at least the hub, do you need what? What do you need? You need power. So power the hub. Okay, cool. Let's go to the cable TV. So, so that's uh, the phone. Um, fire alarm. I'm going in order here. I'm going to go to the fire alarm. Fire alarm riser. The fire alarm riser, guys, I want you to do the following, please. Two smoke detector, smoke detector, smoke detector, typical. And use them. Um, and these were wired, right? They were wired, they were wired like this, and we brought them. So this will be, I don't know, this is apartment, um, let's just say panel, circuit number one, um, panel number one. That's it. That's all that you have to do. And the conductor that we're using here, I just want to show these conductors, will be number 14, what? <clears throat> 14, three, number 14, three. That's that's all. Typical, and if you guys want to use, typically they're going to be the same, right? Every apartment is going to have the same thing, except one apartment. You guys remember how one apartment has extra one, right? One apartment has extra one. So, you know what? It doesn't turn to, to repeat this one three more times, four more times. One for every apartment. And one for the common. Remember how we have common? So if you guys can, I'm just struggling with, you know what? Or if you just say, let's say typical, typical for all apartments. That's fine with me. You put a note here, typical for all apartments. Um, and if you can put also write a note, right? Because they're all going to be typical. If you say then apartment, then you might have say apartment number, what is it, two, will have four smoke detectors, right? Apartment number two, I think it has four, because three bedroom, and common area, area will have, will have, how many in the common area we put? I can't remember, we put one, two, three, and underneath it, three, six, seven, maybe? Seven smoke detectors. If you can write these guys, you all what you have to do, just draw this as your riser for the time being. Specify that the common area is gonna have, I can't remember, count how many you can put there, and put them. And that's about it for the fire alarm riser. Any question guys about this before I move into before I move into I'm going in order here. I did the fire alarm. I'm gonna to go to the TV. Can I go to the TV guys? Yep. TV. So T V riser. The TV riser guys is very very similar to the phone. You come over here. From here you come over here and you're gonna to go to it will look something very similar to this. 
and you're going from here so this is um, I'm going to call this is apartment number one TV splitter this is main TV splitter and um, this is TV jack and how many of them let's just say three and what do you guys need to draw on these little ones you're going to repeat this one how many times Zach this one four times uh, I want to specify the size though the size here we're having one coaxial cable and all these are guys are coaxial we have coaxial cable one and this is also one coaxial cable all of everything is one coaxial cable right we're taking a coaxial cable splitting it into all these two splitters one to go to the apartments and one to go into the into the house does that make sense can i have thumbs up chat it makes sense does it make sense for those of you guys who have never wired makes sense now sometimes sometimes they power the splitter anybody have seen a power splitter sometimes they power the splitter yeah, long run. So I want to, because of sometimes, I want you guys to come over here and say 120 volt, 15 amp. So what they do is they they plug it, plug the split, the splitter comes with the power, and let's just assume we're going to be powering it with 120 15. If I don't put a circuit, Joe, meaning you're going to steal a receptacle, and plug him right into a receptacle closer. So that's my TV. I'm almost door. I have the heat and the door build, and I'm done with these splitters, guys. Everybody knows that you're going to repeat this one three times. But before I, the reason why I do this one, guys, I, I could have made a copy of it and give it to you. But I want you to understand because we'll do the same thing for a commercial building. Guess what? We're doing very similar thing for the commercial building. So I want everybody to understand how the system is put together. You bring a cable to the building and you split the signal through the whole building. Cool? All right, let's go to the, the la next one is heating cooling. Now heating cooling is very simple here. Heating cooling. Our heating cooling guys start with a thermostat, T, my thermostat. And all what I want you guys to go right here is to furnace. And actually, I like to draw the furnace here. We're showing this will be furnace. And from here will be AC. And there will be a wire going this way and a wire going this way. It's a thermostat, furnace, AC. And this cable will be typically at 18, uh, what did they use, 18 or 16 last time? 18 or 16, really. Uh, phone data, right? one line diagram, crunch. No, uh, security, I use phone data, we didn't do that one. Let's use 16 just because of that. So that would be number 16 for uh, thermostat cable. Not twisted, and also this one. Let's just say they're using 16 and 4. Um, thermostat. Um, this cable. Cable. They have not twisted, my understanding. I don't think they twist these. So you're taking a uh, class 2 circuit, guys. 16 4. Four conductors now create 16. And can you do me a favor? Instead of do, writing everything else, all what you have to do now is say typical for every apartment. Typical for all apartments. So you don't have to repeat yourself a couple of times, right? That's your thermostat, basically, um, cooling 
the medium cooling stash rising. Do we have to do something for the uh, baseboard in the common area? Oops, where am I here? Did I go to? This is TV Ryzen. Let me just see a second. Ryzen. Uh, no. The common area, these thermostats, they are really, they're right on the device, the way we design them. Yes. No, we're not going to show them. This is just for the apartments. Can I have a thumbs up, Chad? We fully understand that one. Everybody knows why the 18, 16, 4, or 18, 4 going between them to send the signal to start and stop based on temperature requested. Okay. Last one is doorbell. We have a doorbell that you guys are going to draw there. I, I'm going to PDF this one. Uh, chime riser. So your chime riser is going to be very simple. You're going to have the chime, and you're going to have 120 volt, 15 amp coming through it here. From this side, you're going to have a doorbell, drawn door bell button. And from this side, what do you guys think it's going to be? Rear. Doorbell button. And you can feel free to use the words better than I did. This is just suggestion. Um, and the cables that we use as between all these and these from here to here to here that we use 62 cable and 62 cable between the chimes and the bush vines. This is what we call them risers, low voltage risers, guys. So what your job is to go draft them in CAD and make them look nice. If uh, getting confused, no problem. We have a, I have a picture of all of them right here. Anybody want to look at them too? Don't get sweaty hard if you see them doing different size than I told you guys. Don't sweat too hard. You can use 18 or 16. The only difference really is how far you want to go with the signal. Now with the on the same sheet, I want to remind you guys there will be also two more things. Anybody remember on that detail sheet? The bonding, which is already there as a word document, as well as a trench, as well as a trench. Is that good enough to get you up and running, guys? Cool. Okay. Now let us do the work, Chad. All right. 